Graham, your boys did so well to, to fight back there. How do you reflect the game overall? Oh, the guys know that you can't give good teams two-goal head start and expect not to be a little bit frantic towards the end. I thought they showed fantastic character getting back in the game. Could have won it. Um, in the end, we've lost to a, to a goal. It's an unbelievable finish from the guy. Congratulations to him. We congratulate our opponent, but I thought we, uh, we didn't deserve to lose. What did you make of the, the game overall? As you mentioned, the start wasn't great, but towards the, the end of the second half, you did start to find your way back into it. I, I thought we had some good control in the game. The game was too long, um, and they were really good on transition. We didn't lock the game down. We were too deep at times. And we sort of told the boys that at half-time. They knew the answers anyway. Um, and I thought in the second half, we were the only team that was going to go and win it. Um, a fantastic goal from Glenn, I have to say. But we had numerous opportunities to go and put the game to bed, and we didn't manage to do that. So if you don't do that, you then get punished at the end. And it's a, it's a good lesson. The guys will learn from it. It'll hurt them right now. It hurts everyone at the club. But they, they need to learn that and they need to improve that. And, and hopefully next time this kind of game comes around, that won't be a problem. Is that the frustration? Because after Glenn's fantastic two goals, he did have the opportunities to go on and, and win the game, as you say. Well, you don't like to look at opportunities in the game where we could have, we could have done it because you don't want to blame people. You don't want to have a go at players, young guys. They know we need to be more clinical. Um, but... The effort, the endeavour, some of the play that we showed was exceptional. I thought Stevie Kelly was arguably the best player on the pitch. I thought he was outstanding. And, and we need more kinds of more tests of this kind. We, we thank our opponents for hosting a, a great game. We've, we've got a good venue. We've, we've got a crowd. And, and we've got some stress on our guys' nervous system that they haven't had for ages. And they're, they're hurting there at the moment. They need more tests like this. They need more challenges like this to help them grow, help them to develop, and help them get to that next step. And that next step, as, as Glenn has shown, is getting to the first team. And, and when Glenn gets an opportunity, he shows the first team level finishing, which was great for us. Um, the fact that he's gone and played 30 games for the first team this season is a success. We need now more, and we need more games of this ilk to prepare our players better for going and making that next step. There's disappointment naturally. How do you pick the guys up and get them ready for the final league game of the season because there's still an opportunity to win there? I don't have to. They've done it themselves in there. They're, they're hurting, they're angry, um, they're a wee bit upset, as they should be, but they want to go and make sure that they win the league. So that, that's good for me as a coach. I don't have to spend too much energy on, on picking them up. There's a few individuals in there that you'll have a quiet word with, but you just have to make sure that they're professional, that they recover properly, they go through all of our routines that we give them to get themselves ready for a big game on, uh, on Monday and, and make sure that we go and maximise our opportunity in that game.